Bitcoin's at an all-time high uh, this week, which is very exciting. I've been working in the cryptocurrency space for over 10 years. And what really drew me uh, to Bitcoin is uh, the monetary economics behind the system. Uh, today, the number one issue impacting Americans that's showing up in polls is inflation. You know, the prices of everything are going up. The prices of food, of gas, of living expenses, your rent, mortgage rates. And so many of us, particularly people from the younger generation, uh, many of us don't feel like we're gonna have the same uh, standard of living or the same opportunities as our parents, really for the first time in American history. Uh, which is scary, and 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 why you know why is that? It really comes back to inflation and the way that the current monetary system works. And Bitcoin is inflation proof is an inflation proof asset. You can't print more Bitcoin. There's only 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be created. That's the code. That is the rule. And so. As Bitcoin's hitting all-time highs this week, uh, while many people may be focused on the price, it's important to understand what this really means, is that this is an asset that we, as just normal people, can have access to, to protect ourselves uh, from inflation. And the same technology can be used for other more advanced applications to protect ourselves from the exploitation of our own data. Uh, so I'm excited for the proliferation of digital assets, not only for the protection of digital property rights, but just so we have the opportunity to fully own and control our, our money and going back to a hard money standard. That's so awesome. Stored energy is the way I like to think about Bitcoin too. You work hard for your money, put it into something that cannot debase Right. It's yeah. Like think about it. We all, you know, we work jobs. We, you know, I assume you guys all work hard. Uh, you get paid a paycheck. It gets deposited in your in your in your bank account. But because the government's printing more money, it's worth less in the future. I don't know how you classify that as anything other than theft. It's a double tax. It's a it's it's a hidden tax, and you're already taxed. Right. Many of us, as much as 30, 40, 50 percent, when you add all the taxes up. So, and then you're, you know, taxed again through inflation. It's just, where does it end? And how do you, how do people keep up with that? And we're at a place where you really can't. And then just maybe take this one step further. Look at the debt crisis in this country. There is no, we're, we, are, we, we have, you know, significant uh, debt issues. The biggest national security issue in the United States right now is our debt. If we can't fund our own debt, we can't fund any of the programs that the government supports, which so many people are relying on, are paid to their whole life to be in our pl planning to use those benefits in their, their older age. So it's not just you know, how inflation impacts you personally, it's the government as a whole is operating on a completely unsustainable system. And you know, this technology puts checks and balances on that. And hopefully it will get us back into something that's more financially sustainable over the long term. That's, that's the hope. Tom update.